Well, this is the last uh, major kind of repair that I've been reluctant to do on pipes. And uh, in general, I'm very reluctant to repair anyone else's pipes uh, just because it's so easy to go wrong. So this is uh, these are actually the pipes that I've been playing lately. Uh, there's a mystery vintage set that I got from the um, trading post on Bob Dunsire. Uh, they sound great, uh, but um, the, uh, the tuning chambers were not parallel. And uh, I basically moved from New York back to California and the change in climate from east to west coast has uh, really seen them change dimension. Uh, and they reached the point where they're essentially untunable. So I'm gonna bite the bullet and uh, ream them out. Um, I've already done the base, the two base pieces and the other tenor. I had never done this before this morning. So this is gonna be the uh, fourth one that I do. Uh, we'll just finish them off. Uh, this morning I went and bought these adjustable tapered reamers from Harbor Freight. Um, I bought a whole set. These are not ideal to use for this. I'm not sure what kind of reamer to use, but this is all I could get. The reason they're not ideal is because I have this nut at the end, which uh, doesn't go into the bore, and so it leaves a portion at the end uh, where you can't uh, ream out and taper. These are a little big because uh, I just finished the other tenor. So uh, they're really simple to adjust. You just uh, loosen the screw at the top, tighten the screw at the bottom, and that actually adjusts the size of the blades. Uh, and this is a very, very gentle process because we don't want to put pressure on the inside of the drone. So uh, I've actually been doing this by hand. And uh, you know, those of you out there that actually know how to do this and have been doing this for a while, I mean, feel free to uh, give me some corrections and some advice. It's like I said, this is the fourth one I've ever done and uh, I've been very reluctant to try this. All right, can you hear it grinding away? a little bit. There we go. We're at the end. And uh, not sure how well you can see that on there. It's very fine scrapings on the edge of the blades. Uh, so I'm just going to expand the diameter of that a little bit. And uh, I mean, this is this is a bit time consuming because I want to go nice and slow. I don't really want to force anything too much. And uh, even though I've got this in my hand, I'm actually not really applying much pressure. I'm just kind of using it as a handle. So it's still very gentle. And uh, we'll increase the diameter a bit more. And uh, I guess, you know, for guys who've done a lot of this, it's a bit of an art. See, I'm getting close. So basically what I'm trying to do is open this up to be uh, the, uh, the diameter at the, uh, at the end of the ferrule, so the entry of the tuning chamber. And I'm very close. I'm going to do like a 64th. Of I'm actually being a bit lazy here. It's probably not too wise, and uh, I should probably have a pair of wrenches, and every time I do this, I should tighten the nuts down with the wrenches to make sure that my blades actually do stay parallel. But like I said, I'm being a bit lazy. I tend to do things this way, uh, a bit loose. Um, just my way. Every once in a while, it goes completely wrong, and I wreck a piece.
I feel a bite, so I'm going to be very gentle there. So if I need to, I'll back the reamer out. Almost done. All right. Okay, Tasha. All right, I'm going to do one last one, and I think that'll do it. No, we've got a bit of wobble there. So I actually uh, put a little bit more diameter. Like I said, we want to go very gentle. We definitely do not want to force anything because uh, the risk of splitting your drone here is pretty great. your binding until right at the very end which is to be expected because of the nut on that reamer it means I couldn't get right to the top of the, of the chamber and actually that um, just uh, light feel that actually seems pretty good All right, so that's it like I said I don't know if this is uh, I don't know if that was the ideal way to do it uh, I don't know how other pipe makers and repairs do it I know with the tools at hand, um, there you go, reaming out a, a, a tuning chamber. Um, that's how I'm going to do it uh, until somebody gives me a better way. So uh, anyone with any suggestions, any pointers, please let me know. All right, thanks a lot.